Well, good morning, everyone. Rick and I here, and it good is morning. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, yes. And we're it's about 5:30 in the morning, and we're heading out for a hunt. Starting to rain just a little bit, and the weather's supposed to be the shit today, but uh, we're gonna go out anyways and see what we can see. So stay tuned, and uh, hopefully we'll show you some action. Okay, everyone, here we are on the mountain hunting. We got one bull behind us, but of course he's not legal until Saturday. Uh, I haven't seen anything else. It's pretty windy. We've been here since daylight. It's kind of chilly, but uh, we're just going to hang here for the rest of the morning and do some glassing. At least we're seeing moose and we're seeing bulls. That's the main thing. Just going to find the right bull now. And that takes patience and persistence. We've been doing it for many years, and that's why we're have been relatively successful. So, uh, hope I'm not boring you with any chatter. But uh, like I say, hopefully the moose comes out and you'll see something better. For now, I'm going to sit here and try and stay warm. Okay, everyone, that's going to conclude the morning hunt here. We did see one bull and one cow. Well. Rick did and uh, Andy we couldn't see it from where we were at so that's moose hunting some days are exciting some days are boring lots of time behind the glass and lots of patience but uh, we're gonna head back to camp now have a bite to eat and get a few things done around camp that we've got to do then go visit some friends and then uh, we'll be heading out again okay so that's uh day number two here hunting from the quads and <clears throat> didn't show you anything this afternoon as it rained the whole time. Uh, we did go out, we just uh, sat and glassed and uh, we did see one bull and one cow, I believe. So tomorrow we're gonna head to another spot and uh, I'll get some footage of that. Hopefully it's supposed to be nice weather tomorrow. It's still raining right now. So we're just gonna have dinner here, go to bed and get an early start tomorrow and uh, I'll take you guys along. Well, good morning hunting fans. Rob and I are on a hike. There's Rob, say good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys and gals. <laughs> Have a look up on the mountains there, guys. We got first snow. It's pretty chilly right now. This weather's perfect. There's no a little bit of wind. It's in our favor. Let's go find a moose. I haven't seen anything yet. It's only been daylight for like maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. And Rob and I are on the move already. We're gonna head up over here and up over top of there. There's a big basin in there. We where I shot a grizzly years ago. And Luke shot a moose in there back in 2018, I think it was. We can see moose anytime right now. And I'm hoping to. Nice and slow. We've glassed all that numerous times. And we'll keep doing it over and over again. I'm gonna follow this little ridge along and go up that little scree patch and then over the back. Concentrate on finding a moose. Look at this guy here, eh? Doing exactly what you're supposed to do, glassing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue on. Don't wanna bore you with any of these. Um, me mumbling and babbling away. So everybody. Okay, everyone. Probably an hour later, Rob and I just sat here, had a bite to eat. That's him there. See? <laughs> Uh, no moose yet. I think we got to go down here so we can see down farther. Because it's so flat up top here. The wind changed on us. It's heading down there now, which is not good. 
I guess we could always walk along the ridge over there and go up over there and then glass down into it. That might be a good idea. Looks like it's easier walking. That yellow stuff you see and red stuff is, well, it's this stuff. It trips you up when you walk through it. You exert a little more energy than what you need to. So that's what we're going to do now. But, uh, oh well, we need a lot of junk food, so it's, it's good to uh, uh, do a little work, exercise. Burn off the two or three calories. Oh! <laughs> Rob needs to burn off some extra calories. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm just battling, making no sense. So that's what we're up to now. I think we're going to head over there. So, uh, Hopefully we'll see a moose. Oh look, a moose. That's Mildred. Okay, chat soon guys. Hey everyone, this is my view. Which is almost second to none. But uh, we are heading back right now. We didn't see any moose today, or this morning. The day's not over. <laughs> but, uh, way down here. We gotta go way to the right. But I don't like going through that yellow shit. It's tough to walk in. It trips you up all the time. So you can see all the nice little hiding spots that have for the moose. Eh? Little corridors and stuff. They actually use them. I've caught them in it quite a few times. But uh, I'm gonna go back for lunch and uh, do it again tonight. Come here again, but I don't think. But uh, tomorrow, the antler restrictions are lifted, and we can shoot any bull we see tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow will be a different day. Until then, everybody, we'll chat soon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a really nice bull. It's after eight, we don't have time to go for him. Came out like five minutes ago. It's getting the sun's already down, so we never get there in time. You see, just really... we'll stay here till dark and see what he does. But I think that's gonna be it. Just to show you how far you can just see him there. But uh, so far away he is. A long, 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 long ways. So, uh, he's a decent bull. Doesn't matter, tomorrow he'll be legal. So, uh, hopefully he'll be around. But we just finished our evening hunt here. And we've seen, what, four cows and then about, as you've seen on the video, that bull came out. Looks pretty decent, but uh, really hard to tell from here with the light we had. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, well, tomorrow is legal anyways, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. So we'll see. We might come back here tomorrow. We're not sure. So we got other places as well, but uh, we'll have to think about that. So that's going to be a wrap for today, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning unless something exciting happens between here and camp or at camp. So uh, stay tuned for more hunting action, everybody. See you later. Good morning everybody. Okay. Had a little action this morning, but no time to get the camera out. On the other side, right over there, a bull came over and came down to here, so I blew it up the other side. I'm trying to spot her down there. As you can see it's snowing windy, cold or something wet or sweat. I guess it's been an hour since that happened. I know the moose, I know that he'll come over top and he'll go down into the timber over there. I don't think he'll be down here, but uh, I'm checking anyways. Do some calling. I'm not sure what time it is right now. I don't want to look at my watch. It's too So yeah, we 
beautiful country up here. I don't know why that moose buggered off. Left in a hurry. Couldn't have smelled this the wind was great. Maybe just too much quad action this morning and made him nervous. Left the country. So there's always hope still that maybe I'll come out. I'll do a call here too. And uh I don't know, maybe he'll stick his head out. I just need to locate him and then I can make a pile in there. But locating him is going to be the problem. Especially in this wind. I think he's in the trees already, but uh, hopefully he's in the trees just below me. It's only about 400 meters away, 500 meters, so. And it's very easy for me to get in closer here because I've got the advantage of being up above. So, uh. I'm going to continue on here, just wanted to update you guys on what was going on. Uh, let's see what happens. So I found a place here out of the wind, and I was just going to head back, so I, I sat here for a minute, I called. And then uh, I got a cow answering me right down here. And then Andy told me that he's seen her, but she's since gone in the trees. So I'm just hanging here, it's still very cold. I got a long way to go to get out of here still. I had to go way over above that tree line over there. So I won't stay here too much longer, but uh, it would be nice if something would come out. Okay, everyone. As always, stay tuned. Still hiking out from all above. Sometimes you get lucky and find a nice moose trail. I shot a moose up here years ago. And Rick shot one right below me at the same time. I believe that's a video as well somewhere. I'm gonna go up that bank up there. You don't have a trail to walk through this stuff in. It ties you up and trips you. And I did trip. And I went down right on my knee hard. Luckily, it was on soft dirt, but it still hurt like hell. But if it would have been a rock or something, I'd still be laying there, I think. Didn't even get a chance to get my hands out. Just straight down on it. The moose walks into stuff like nothing. Even over there. This is a dream to walk in. I just hope it stays like this. Um, I don't know where to go. There's probably a show up more of that. Really nice trails inside the trees, but uh, it's heading the wrong way. Uh, I'm off the trail now. I'll just cut across that line. Now. Alright, I've probably seen enough of this crap, eh? Oops. Alright. It's gonna be the morning hunt, I think. I 
Looks like a trail, but I don't think it is. <clears throat> Making a stock on a big bull. Rob's gonna shoot it. We are heading up to that big esker. On the right side of all this opening up here. So another big hike today. That's okay. Hopefully we can get this thing. Here in a sec. I get to that big esker up there. Uh, and the wind is going that way. So we have to stay low so they don't wind us. So, uh, a lot of shit to go through here. That's a cow. That's the cow? That's a cow. I see him. You see him? The bottom. He's walking back and forth. Okay, everybody, as you've seen from the excitement there, we shot that moose. Rob's up there. He just found it. It is dead. It is now 8, 8.23. We got weather coming. Um, Rick and Andy are grabbing the bikes, and they're coming up, and I'm heading up there to Rob now. I'm going to leave my pack here Rob's and, and Rob's pack. Um, grab a couple knives and... Uh, it's gonna be a long wet night everybody sorry i didn't get this gopro on as i with the shot but i did get the shot on the, the long range camera and it did not look like great shots but guess what the moose is dead and that's all that matters yes sir okay there's my knee Oh yes, we got a moose. We got a moose, guys. Put 
we also got a whole pile of uh, work to do and we're moving daylight down now, real quick. We got a small window to shoot through. As you've seen from the video, we waited for, I don't know how long, an hour or so for him to uh, show himself. And finally he showed himself. He missed a quick shot, took the shot, and uh, Rob's up there with him now. I'm just putting my pack together so it's easier. So one good thing is, I guess we get to sleep in tomorrow. I know you can't see me, but you can probably hear me. I'm going to save the video here for when we get to the moose. So uh, stay tuned everyone. Moose down. Here at Rob's moose. And uh, it's a nice moose. It's a 10 by 9? Nine, nine. 10 by 9, yep. As you can see, we're waiting for the boys to come with the, uh, with the quads. So we're going to start processing this thing. We'll get the guts out of it hopefully before they get here. Yeah. They're going to be a while. It's going to be hell for them. But uh, it's a nice moose. Congratulations, Rob. Thanks. Thanks, Al. There's a lot of patience, huh? Patience. It's been uh, eight gave, days now. And then he gave us a little window a for a shot. Tiny little, well, I don't even know, six foot area maybe? That's it. And then to find him in this crap before dark was yeah. very, very had to, blessed. Had to run the, uh, what was it, 400 yards through yeah. overhead high mm -hmm. bush. Yeah. Al stayed back. He did a great job getting us to the esker to... Uh, Getting without, close enough to shoot without getting winded because the wind was really bad but uh as, as always i'd like to thank the moose for uh giving us his life and i'm very blessed to be able to do this and i'd like to thank all my viewers for actually supporting me and watching and uh, uh commenting and everything else it really means a lot to me it, it, it really is a ton of work to uh try and get this all on video i didn't have time to turn on my gopro luckily i had on the long range camera the shot didn't look well but uh he only went maybe 50 yards. That's it. And he, thinking. yeah. So uh, it was it was real quick, now or never kind of thing, because I don't think we would have got him. No. But uh, anyways, this, this light's terrible. You guys probably don't like seeing the dark like this. So we're going to try and flip this thing over and start getting the guts out of him. Good job, Rob. Thanks, Al. You betcha. What time is it? Uh, court 10 to 2 in the morning. <laughs> we just uh, got the moose out. There's the moose there. I don't know if you can see that very good, but uh, and of course it's raining. Rick's getting out the moose bottle, complimentary drink bottle. I guess I shouldn't swear. I'm so hungry, it's just ridiculous. Hey, Al. Hey. What I know, I see that. Look at I don't know, you can't see it with my light. I'm going to drink this and I'll be shit-faced by the time we get back. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Okay, let's get this on first, eh? Oh, okay. You want to do that? So, Rob. Hi. Beat. That oh, bush okay. just destroyed me. <laughs> Cast. Two days after that. Yeah. Do you know what it's like? It's like doing a squat and walking at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> If and then add, you know those chairs where you lean up against oh, yeah. the wall oh, and you just sit there and you just vibrate? Yeah. That's my calves are like that. Really wow. All right, everybody, we're going to put this box on. We're going to have a quick drink and then uh, back to camp. And I don't know what we're going to do there. <laughs> Fuck, just throw a tarp over the quads of the quarters, yeah. hang them quickly. Hang I don't know. Quick, yeah. It doesn't take long, really, to, court, to skin them. I can usually skin one in like five minutes. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's hanging them. Yeah. Okay, everybody. We'll get her done. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Andy. Hi, right, guys. Good driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On that note, we will uh, chat with you maybe back at camp or maybe tomorrow. But uh, I, I would have videoed some of us coming out, but it was just Rob and I walked and. Uh, Andy and uh, Rick had the moose and it was that stuff that's up to here and tripping and falling and it's not much fun. Okay everyone, we'll talk back. That's one moose down. We got three more to go. Three more to go. Three more to go. 
Alright guys, talk to you soon.